I didn't believe in evolution, I'd kill myself. <laughs> and that's why I was so excited when my 23-year-old daughter told me that she challenges herself to find something nice about people she doesn't know. She silently compliments strangers in her mind. Um, she might be standing behind a girl in a coffee bar line and think, oh, I like the way she does her hair, or, oh, she really rocks that pair of jeans. These aren't huge things. I know she's not curing cancer, but she could be texting her boyfriend or snapping a selfie. <laughs> now, she doesn't remember to practice these random acts of kind mind all the time, but the fact that she does it some of the time <laughs> blows my mind because she certainly didn't learn it from me. I was raised by a generation who judged everyone. To my mom and her friends, dissing other women was like a blood sport. And now, fast forward a couple of generations, and my daughter is looking for what's good about people instead of assessing how she might be superior to them? Whoa, I thought that was proof of evolution. Now, she isn't religious, but she told me she believes there might be something to the power of positive intention because she heard about those experiments in Japan where they supposedly preyed upon the water and good thoughts caused perfect crystals to form and bad thoughts caused the opposite. Well, she knows we're 60% water. But still, she wasn't raised to see life through a Disney lens by any means. Um, she grew up on Kauai in the land of Aloha, but she was a chubby little kid and she was teased mercilessly. She used to stay and help the cafeteria ladies wipe down the tables after lunch so she wouldn't have to go outside. But the ocean was her playground. And then when she was 13, a 15-foot tiger shark chomped off the arm of one of her best friends. <laughs> that was a pretty gruesome Halloween. And then just a year ago at age 22, she was blindsided when one of her co-workers shot and killed two police officers in Santa Cruz. And she'd worked many shifts alone with this guy. She had never suspected a thing. So the fact that she was still looking for the good in others in a world where sharks eat your friends for breakfast and your coworkers open fire on innocent people, well, I thought that was an idea worth sharing. But when I told her that I auditioned for Ted, I'm, well, you can probably imagine what she said. <laughs> Mom, what'd you do that for? It's not like it's a selfless thing. I only do it because I think if I think nice things about people, then maybe they'll think nice things back about me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My daughter wasn't busting open any Darwinian paradigm. She was just practicing reciprocal altruism driven entirely by self-interest. Richard Dawkins is right. <laughs> Those ruthless genes of ours don't give a shit about universal love. Anyway, right after that, I happened to um, find out the truth about the Japanese water experiments. Evidently, the guy took a zillion photos. He just labeled the pretty crystals peace and beauty, and he labeled the bad ones hate and anger. <laughs> and then I picked up a newspaper, and I see about the Pope releasing those two doves of peace. Did you guys see that? One got pecked to death by a seagull, and the other got eaten by a crow. Oh, who's I kidding? It's not going to ever be survival of the nicest. But then my daughter called me, and she told me about this awkward, overweight kid she sees at the gym where she swims. Oh, I just think about all the excuses he could use not to be there, Mom. How funny he looks in his suit. Um, he's got this muffin top that hangs over his little Speedos, and how everybody's staring at him as he walks across the deck, and how no matter how hard he tries, He's never going to be as fast as the person in the lane next to him. And my heart just swells with pride because I think how proud I am that he's there at all. And I think how proud I am of her. And I tell her that. And she says, Mom, it's not like giving blood or something. It just takes a second, and it's free. <laughs> And then the next day, I hear about a local teacher whose students seed vacant lots with wildflower bombs. And they write positive affirmations and leave them on people's windshields instead of parking tickets. I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of poppies lately. There are good things happening in the world, and good things add up. Now, scientists may tell us that there's no payoff in survival terms for random acts of kindness in our mind or otherwise. But I have to believe the opposite because, well, we crawled out of primordial goo 
and eventually we produce Mozart. Despite the hideous aberrations in history like the Holocaust and the evils we read about in the news every day, overall, in geological time, the trend line is up. And who knows what power our, our un unspoken thoughts might have. I mean, we are all connected at a subatomic level. So anything that we can do to dissolve the divisions between us, political, religious, social, is a good thing. I call my daughter's random acts of kind mind R-A-K-M for short. That's pronounced Rackham. So Rackham people, <laughs> you millennials, I want you to find something good about us boomers. <laughs> Democrats, try it on Republicans. Atheists, try it on creationists. Heck, I'll even try it on my husband, okay? Like my daughter says, it can hurt. Thank you. Yeah.